Hi everyone, welcome back to the Said With Love YouTube channel and welcome to the Edelweiss Sew Along. This is the first week and we're doing the cutting this week. So if you haven't joined yet, you still can. There's a link in the caption below for you to sign up to get the weekly newsletters or new emails. And in those emails, I'll do the tips and tricks and give you hints of things that uh, I found that made making this pattern just that little bit easier and more fun. But first of all, if you could like this video, subscribe to my channel, that would be fantastic. And click on the little bell to get notified when a new vid uh, video comes out. So let's get to it. Week one, cutting. Now, this one is a fair bit of cutting, I'm afraid, sorry. So Camille has written a beautiful pattern and it is well written and nice and easy to read. She didn't, however, label absolutely every piece of the things that you need to cut out. So. I have gone through and in my email that comes out for week one, have labeled some of these extra pieces. And to make life even easier for you, I actually have created, and there's more to this, um, a little PDF that has all of the labels that you will need that you can cut out and attach to your pieces of fabric like I did. So that makes keeping things a little bit more under control and a bit more organized. I love to be organized when I'm doing a solo along. Um, one thing I talked about in last week's preparation email was sort of how to keep things under control. Um, obviously the labels is one thing once you've cut your fabrics out, but then where do you keep it? Where do you keep all your bits and pieces whilst the sew along is actually coming along? So I'm actually lucky. I have got this Laurie Holt tin which is huge as you can see and it actually holds quite large blocks so it fits almost fits these blocks um, certainly fits your, your your sort of normal 12 and a half kind of inch blocks that I'm doing for a year of hearts and I put all my fabrics and all my cut pieces in there as well uh, I've got a picture of that and I found that using design boards can be very handy so if you're like laying out um, a particular flower when we get to that or a leaf unit or even just putting your pieces of blues and greens etc that you need um, that you've cut out you can put them on uh, design boards or you can go a bit old school and use paper plates or I actually have quite a few of these plastic plates that I just wash and reuse um, you can put things on that and for so longs that have specific blocks um, I did a Lori Holt sew along one of her farm girl vintage I think it was um, sew alongs and each of my blocks I had one paper plate and I had cut all my little pieces and I labeled them and things like that stacked them all up next to my sewing machine so that when I got a few moments to sew I could just grab one and start sewing so think about that for um, not not just this sew along but for future sew alongs um, what else have we talked about in week one there is quite a bit of cutting, as I said, and if you've got the kit, um, there are a couple of pieces of fabric that are not particularly generous. So just be very careful, take your time, perhaps don't cut really late at night when you're a little bit tired and not really concentrating very much. Um, one of my big tips for cutting is always to cut the largest pieces or the largest strips first. Because if you stuff that up and, you know, it's supposed to be a five and a half inch strip and you cut it at five inch or something like that, you can still use that then for perhaps some of your smaller strips or smaller pieces. Um, but if you cut, 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 and then try and fit a five inch piece or five and a half inch piece at the end, and you've made a few mistakes along the way, you may not have enough fabric. So always start with your larger ones first. Um, I found too with the, the background fabric, there was quite a lot of background fabric so don't stress about that one um but I again started with the larger pieces first and cut some of the the bigger strips and then had a few bits left you know a few inches left at the end of those strips and so I then used those to cut up some of those smaller squares because boy there are a lot of little small squares um and I found then by the time I got to the strips that I needed to to cut for those smaller squares I'd already you know, cut 20 or 30 of them. So I didn't quite need as many of those strips. So I saved a bit. So I've got quite a bit of that uh, background fabric, that lovely navy dot, uh, which is good because, you know, I love fabric. <laughs> so one of the other things too, when I start a new project like this, be it a sew along or 
even uh, you know quilt one of my own quilt patterns that I'm I'm doing I create a little whip tracker so I've got a little PDF and again in the cutting instructions email that I sent out I've got a link to this whip tracker um, and what it allows you to do is obviously you know what pattern you're doing what fabrics you're using but then any changes that you perhaps want to do maybe you love this pattern but you actually want it bigger so you're going to do a whole extra row down the bottom or maybe you want to tweak up one of the blocks you know maybe you don't, maybe you don't like where the leaf um, designs are you want to change those or you you wanted to do the one color center for all of your flowers or something like that write all of that down on your whip tracker form pop it in with all your fabric and your pattern and all those sort of things and then if you know life gets in the way uh, and you have to stop doing this project for a while and you come back to it in five months six months two years ten years <laughs> um, you've got all the information that you were in the midst of doing and your ideas that you were going to do now you may change your mind at that point but um, at least you know where to start and you can get up and going again in that project so that was another little bonus freebie that I gave uh, my so along subscribers so I think that's it for probably week one I think just relax have fun if you're picking fabrics from your stash enjoy um, perhaps think about getting a good contrast between your flowers and your leaf fabrics with whatever your background is if you choose not to to use a really dark background like Camille has in hers in her shoreline fabrics um, if you decide to, to use a, a lighter fabric as the background then you know make sure that your flowers are gonna gonna pop in that and your leaf fabrics are also going to stand out enough so that you can see the design when you've finished your quilt so that's it for week one of the Edelweiss Sew Along for cutting. As I said, if you haven't uh, signed up for the Sew Along, there's a link in the caption below. You can get signed up. You'll also be subscribed to my newsletter, which comes out every fortnight, sometimes weekly if there's good things to talk to you about. So go have fun. Enjoy making the Edelweiss quilt.